everyone, it's Miriam and welcome back to another video. So before I jump into talking about what I'm painting in this footage, I quickly wanted to update you guys about something that I... a big step I took in uh, in my business as an artist. I finally brought myself a fine art printer. I had been holding out for a while, but it just came to a point where having a third party printer was just becoming too much of a hassle. So it gives me a lot more freedom to have my own printer. And I bought the Canon Pixmic Pro 100S, if any of you guys are interested. I can give you updates as I go along about how it works. But for the moment, uh, what I wanted to say is that because it gives me a lot more freedom, there are two main things linked to the fact that I've got my own printer. The first one is that I finally will be able to open up some, some print per month tiers on my Patreon. So if you're interested in getting a little bit of art every month, the link is in my description below for you to check out my Patreon page. Um, some of the artwork that I will be offering up as prints will be exclusive to Patreon. So something I don't do prints of are my sketches and studies. And I'm hoping to be able to put those up for vote every month on Patreon so that you guys can choose which print you'd pr you guys would prefer as a group to receive in the post. Um, so that's the first big change. And then the second one is that because I've got my own printer now, I can finally afford to do some sales on my shop. And I'm going to be celebrating that by doing a mid-May sale, uh, probably about 20%. You'll have to, don't quote me on that because I, I need to figure it out first. Um, but just keep an eye out on my Instagram and on my YouTube community tab and in my videos. I'll definitely be announcing the sale up here. And it's good because my birthday is at the end of May, so that means I'm just combining all the nice things in one busy month. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to quickly chat a little bit about what I'm painting in this video. So as some of you may have been aware if you follow me in, in, on Instagram, I've been in France for a few for a couple of weeks uh, visiting my family. And one of the advantages of being home is that my stepmother collects vintage and antique items that she finds in like carpet sales and crystal and she has a great eye for really interesting objects. And that meant that I just had plenty to do loads of stud studies from. So this video is the first part of those studies where I did a few metal jugs and I'll have another video with the glass objects I painted and another one with lanterns that I painted. So this is the first one of a triptych of videos basically. This video is a compilation of three metal jugs um, out of four that I painted when I was home. You can see the fourth one as a time lapse exclusive on my Patreon if you guys are interested. Also, my Patreon, my patrons will get first pick of originals once they go on sale because I am planning on selling all those little studies at some point or another. I'll obviously let you guys know once they're up there. So something I completely forgot to do, but that would have made quite a lot of sense, was to take pictures of the objects as I was painting them. You know, in the angle I was painting them at, and in the lighting I was painting them in, or that. Or take a bit of footage, I don't know, something to include in the video to show you exactly what I was painting. Because I was painting all of, all of those from life, I wasn't painting them from pictures. But I f forgot, because sometimes I'm a bit of an idiot. So... What I do have, however, are good reference pictures of each object. They were taken because I want to upload some royalty-free reference packs on my Patreon as like an irregular extras. I do a lot of like extra little things when I've got content that aren't included in the official rewards, but just to add um, a little bit of, you know, extra stuff on Patreon for everyone. And uh, part of this is going to be those reference packs and one of those reference packs is going to include some good pictures in different angles of the objects I'm painting in this video. They are not the exact reference I was working from because I, like I said, I forgot. <laughs> but they are a good representation of the object. So if you guys want to know what the objects look like in real life, uh, check out the pictures in my description below. And if you want high res versions of those pictures, plus other angles, plus other objects, plus m more stuff, um, I mean, shameless promotion in this video seems to be the theme, so check out the Patreon link in my description below also. So, as I'm now starting to paint the third object, why it would make complete sense for me to start talking about the first two objects, wouldn't it? I mean, let's do that. I The first two drugs that I painted were silver, with very different textures. The first one was smooth, but I had been quite battered by the years, I would assume, and it had very, very smooth areas that were extremely shiny, but also other areas that were a bit stained and a bit 
splattered and that texture was really fun to try and recreate. Um, the second jug had a fun, very rather tough, I mean I learned a lot from perspective by doing those studies, <laughs> mostly. You'll see when I do my lanterns video, that was f fun. <laughs> perspective has always been my favourite thing. But it was a good good practice. But anyway, the second jug was also um, silver, but it wasn't as shiny, and it was kind of uh, you know what that, that the kind of hand pummeled texture that silver has sometimes like gives it this really fun uh, speckled type of texture with really interesting light reflecting off of it. And I was trying to do that. <laughs> Don't know if it came across, but uh, it was an interesting study to do. And this third one was by far the toughest. I It was made of copper, and it was copper that was hand embellished by having been engraved. And the patterns that were engraved on the, on the, on the jug, the edges of the patterns were engraved, and the uh, body of the pattern was slightly raised, so it looked like it'd been both engraved and embossed. Um, it was stunning, and it's a really, really cute jug, but by goodness me, was it hard to paint. <laughs> Uh, where, whereas the first two studies probably took me about half an hour, this one, I stayed on it for quite a while, mostly stuff that is off footage where I was just staring at the jug, um, swearing at myself, because it was really tough. Subtle textures and things like that, where you kind of have a sudden change, but quite s delicate in in uh, in volume and relief and, 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 te and well, texture. It's really tough and it's something I really want to be able to master a bit more because I always find that those tiny details, texture details and decorations on objects can really bring out something, um, can really add so much detail and narrative to a piece. So I really want to practice that but it was really, really rather hard. Although it's nice because I feel that the more I paint, the more I become able to enjoy when something is a challenge even if I don't manage to live up to it, if that makes any sense. So instead of actually feeling defeated when I feel I haven't completed the assignment I gave myself, uh, which for example is painting that texture properly, even if I, if I end up not being very convinced that I've managed it by the end, I still feel really happy that I tried and I still feel like I learned and I used to be way more down when I didn't feel satisfied with a piece and uh, now I just kind of enjoy the process more than I used to and it's nice it's nice to feel that development in me and in my thought process around my own art it's an interesting development um, but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little compilation of paintings don't forget to check out my patreon if you would like to see a fourth one and a bunch more content check it out also for all the new print rewards if you would be interested in receiving some art every month and I hope you guys are all really, really well. Take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.